I'm not gay. I do like the ladies. Big fan of the old labia. I am. Yeah. Which is weird, because when I was a kid, I hated girls. When I was like six years old, I thought girls were gross, thought they were dumb. You know, you're allowed to hate girls as a kid, but that's really the only group a kid's allowed to hate. Because if I was a six-year-old that hated Puerto Ricans, that would be weird. You know, if I was like, hey, Mom, I hate Puerto Ricans, she would never say, oh, you'll like them one day. <laughs> you'll like them a lot. Yes. Hey, any Puerto Ricans here? All right, too many. <laughs> Just kidding, love a good party, good people, very passionate people, a lot of knives, but passionate people there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are all jokes, by the way, take it easy. Look, I live in New York City, all right? If I was racist, <laughs> I would be exhausted. <laughs> so I'll have a good time. Yes. But you guys are a good crowd. Some crowds get so offended by these dumb jokes, the gay joke, Puerto Rican joke. I got yelled at by a guy at a show recently. This guy comes up and he goes, hey, buddy, I'm gay and Puerto Rican, all right? I don't appreciate those jokes. You know how hard my life is? I was like, whoa, take it easy. How hard your life is? Dude, you have the most parades. <laughs> How bad could it be, you know? Thank God this guy wasn't half Irish. He'd get all the floats. <laughs> yes. But I realize race is a touchy issue. It's 2014, everybody's weird about race, especially when old Whitey talks about it, you know? Race is touchy nowadays, man. Everybody's nervous about looking racist. Like, I was talking to one guy at my last day job, and I was like, hey man, what's the name of that new guy on the fifth floor, the really tall black guy? And this guy goes, whoa, I don't see color. I was like, really? Did you really just say that? They really just come out of your face? So I looked this guy right in the eye and I was like, hey man, it's cool. I'm black. <laughs> and he was like, no, you're not. And I'm like, uh -huh. Yes. You may not be racist, but you are a liar. I just feel like everybody's so full of it nowadays. Everybody's trying to be PC, and it's all fake and phony, overcompensating all the time. I was at a Starbucks last week. I'm talking to my friend. I was like, yeah, you know, my neighbor, he's this Mexican guy. And before I can finish the sentence, this lady stands up and goes, hey, I didn't come here to listen to some racist conversation. I was like, yeah, that'd be weird if you did. <laughs> coffee shop. Who would come here for that? <laughs> also, I said the word Mexican, because he is Mexican. That's not a slur. That's not a bad word. Sounds like you have some problem with Mexicans. You're projecting that onto me, all right? That'd be like if I said, yeah, this four-year-old the other day, and you went, whoa, you're giving me a boner, you pedophile. <laughs> come on. <clears throat> oh, boy. Yeah, like I, like I have four black friends right now. It's the best I've ever done. And, um... <laughs> They all tell me I'm the whitest guy they know, which I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I guess because I say words like skedaddle. I don't know. <laughs> I get that all the time. Uh, maybe I am super white, but I think the whitest thing about me is the fact that after I get a haircut, I like to leave the barbershop. <laughs> yeah. Don't really see the need for all the hanging around, you know? You don't do that at a dentist's office. Whew, that was a hell of a root canal. And I'm gonna go sit in the lobby for four hours. Yeah. <laughs> And I know some people are like, hey, buddy, that's a stereotype. Well, they made three movies about it, so you figure it out. <laughs> yeah, my black friend, he gets his hair cut like six times a day. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm learning a lot from my black friends. I'm learning black guys don't get offended by much. It's only white people on behalf of black people, which is very condescending, you know? Like, I was at a party recently. I had a couple beers with me. I was talking to a friend of mine, black guy. And I was like, hey, man, what's up with the whole no swimming stereotype? You guys are the best athletes on the planet. You can't backstroke. I don't get it. <laughs> and, you know, and my friend was like, yeah, we just grew up in the inner city. We'd have a pool around. We'd have a lake to go to. I was like, oh, now I know. And this guy at the party goes, hey, man, that was ignorant. I was like, yeah, that's why I asked the question. <laughs> now I know more about it. How are we going to get anywhere if we can't learn stuff, all right? 
you're mad at me for trying to learn about another culture? Screw you. What does this guy do? Just walk you in African studies class? Like, you guys all make me sick. <laughs> just trying to learn. Just because something makes you feel uncomfortable for four seconds doesn't mean it's a bad thing. If we did that with everything, we wouldn't learn anything. You know, your dad's like, hey, son, I'm going to teach you about the birds and the bees. Ugh, that makes you uncomfortable, dad. Look, I know girls pee out of their butts, and so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Good crowd. Woo. I joke about race, but I hate seeing racism in front of me. It's brutal. I, uh, I used to be friends with this Chinese guy. One time we were walking around in Brooklyn. Somebody called him a Chinaman. Uh, he was devastated. But can we all agree that's definitely the gentlest of the racial slurs? I mean, come on. He's from China. He's a man. Not so bad. All right? To me, I think the names of Chinese restaurants sound a lot more like racial slurs. Let's try some. You know who can't drive? Those fucking panda kings. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. And listen to this, one of those golden noodles just moved to my apartment building. Oh yeah, those, those guys really burned me up, those lucky dragons. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. I don't know, I feel like you got a joke about race. It's, it's too, uh, you know, it's, it's a horrible thing, racism, so you gotta make, you gotta make light of it. You know, like, race just isn't a big deal to me. I grew up in a black neighborhood. I grew up in Treme in New Orleans. I grew up in a mansion in an all-black neighborhood. Those guys hated me. Oh, yeah. My bike got stolen a million times, yeah. It got to the point where at Christmas, my mom would buy me a new bike, and I was like, oh, my God, Mom, what are you doing? This is way too small for Jamal. Oh, man, he is gonna kick my ass. Yeah. No. You know, a lot of people say to me, Mark, you grew up in a black neighborhood and you sound like that? Oh, yeah. This is how I rebelled. I was like, oh, you don't like my people? I'm going 1940s auctioneer on you. How do you like that? Yeah. 